Hey everybody, it's Press On with Alice here, and I am with my friend Virginia. Hello, Virginia. Hi, Alice. And Virginia is telling me that she's never used a contour on her face, and she would like to. And she's been watching the videos of me do it on younger women, and she wondered what it would look like on her. So we're experimenting together. So I'm going to um, step away from the camera and just work on Virginia, and I'll talk a little bit about what I'm doing, okay? So Virginia doesn't have any um, foundation on. She does have a little bit of blush, but we're going to make it a little bit darker for her. She is wearing Avon lipstick. I'm going to have you lean forward just a bit like that so that they can see you here. I could maybe, there we go. Let's see if I can keep that up. Okay. So we want to try some contouring. So I've got the contouring stick here. We're going for the, the darker side. Now, Virginia's pretty light. This one is in light colors. And when you use a contouring stick, we're going to go, in fact, I'm going to teach her how to do this. So I'm going to do this side. We're going to come just like this. We're going to come down the nose, starting right about there. Doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. We're going to stop before we get to the bold part of the nose. And then we're going to come right up here, not as far as the ear, but we're going to go right along the bottom of the chin right or the cheek right there to the chin and then we're going to stop now there are some other places you can do some contouring but this is where we're going to start and then you always want to move up and our fingers are warm and we can just blend it in right like this now the key is not that you want to not be able to see the color at all you just want it to blend in and it's going to contour her face. And that's what people will see when they see the whole face at one time. They're not going to actually see the line. They're just going to see that little tiny bit of a shadow of color. And it's going to contour her face. Now she's got a pretty thin face. This is just going to add some definition to it. Okay, lean forward and let them see and, and maybe go to the side a bit. Okay, can you notice a difference there, Virginia? I know you're looking in the camera, not in a mirror. Just a little, and okay. that's good. Okay, and that's we all want you want. Now, want I want settle. you to do that side so that you've learned how to do it. So remember, we're going to start in about the middle of the eye and just kind of come around to about there. It doesn't have to be one like perfect that. straight line. Okay, and then you're going to come to about here on your nose and come down and stop before you get to the end of it. Not like that? Um, I think we want to be a little bit more on the top side of it. There you go. Where the, okay, yeah, there you go. All right, and then we're going to come right around here and follow the bone around Not and that. stop right about there. There you go. Now just use your finger and blend upward. And just blend it in. Perfect. Oops. I think I moved that. I can't tell in the camera if I'm blended. That's all right. I will help you if you're not. Obviously, you want to do this in front of a mirror rather than the camera, but I didn't bring the mirror out for her. Because I said, hey, let's just do this real quick. Oh, I love it. And look at me just, okay. And look at this side so I can see. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of contouring. We're going to do a little bit of the highlight. And we're going to go right underneath where it was. I think that's going to help her because she didn't have any foundation on. And I don't want this to look too dark. All right, so let's blend that in. You do that side and I'll do this side and just kind of work up into the side a little bit. You always want to work up because you're going to work against gravity on our face. We get enough of it being drawn down without ourselves helping. OK, 
kind of got in your way there, didn't That's I? That's fine, because I really can't see what I'm doing okay. in the Okay, well, cabinet. and I took your glasses off too, which of course doesn't help a great deal, does it? No, not for this nearsighted person. I love it. Yeah, we definitely want to blend that in a little bit. I think it looks great. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, even though she had a little bit of blush on, we're going to add a little bit of blush, too. Uh, what we're going to use is the Sandy Beach Bronzing Palette. Isn't that pretty? We've got three colors here, and Virginia's wearing um, a peach lipstick. and So I don't really want to use the, even though that's actually pink, the little peach to it. I kind of like the the color of this little bronzer now we don't want to go right up on her cheek line we're going to go just a little bit underneath it just to add a little bit of color Ooh, that's pretty and if you want to look this way i'm going to do the same thing over here get just a little bit more on Wow, she's ready for the town. She didn't even know it. Now she's going to have to go run errands and show off her makeup. <laughs> okay. You know what, Virginia? I really like that, and it makes a difference. It does make a difference. Thank it, you, Alice. Put your glasses on and kind of look in the camera. See if you can see a difference. Oh, I definitely can. And isn't that pretty? It's fun. It's fun, and it added a definition to her face that was really very easy to do. We only used two products. Well, three, including the blush brush. But we only used three products. We used the contouring and the highlighting stick from Avon in light. And then we used the brush palette that is actually a little bronzer palette. And it was perfect for her coloring. I love it. Hey, Virginia, thanks for coming and doing this with Thank me. Thank you for doing this, you Alice. Bet. It just shows that an old lady can learn new tricks. We all can, can't we? Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.